In this video I'm going to show you how to create custom AAWP templates so you can have your Amazon products output in how you want them to. So let's take this example of this bestseller list right here for the 4K TV. By default we've got this template right here output in, which does look very very good, but I want to make it look a little bit more natural for this post because I want it to not look like it's a bestseller list where products are being pulled in. I don't want the markup to have AAWP all over it so Google can clearly see that I'm using the plugin to generate these product listings. Um, I just want it to output like clean code as if someone has created this and that's what I'm going to show you how to do. It's actually a lot easier than I thought it was to do. So the first thing you've got to do is go into FileZilla and then get into the files of your website and then come over to WP Content and then Plugins and then find AAWP and go to that and then go to Templates and Products and then you want to copy out one of these we're going to use as our base to create our one off of so I'm just going to use horizontal it's a pretty simple one to understand so I've now just saved that locally now what I need to do is come back to WP content so I can get to my themes and then we want to go to your active theme and now we need to create a directory inside here so right click and then do create directory and we want to call that AAWP go inside that and then we want to create a new directory again and call that one products so we're basically mirroring exactly what the plugin done so go inside that then drag that back in over there so we now got that file inside there at the moment that file will overwrite that horizontal template so if you made changes to that it'll overwrite it but we don't want to do that what we want to do is we want to change this and call it simple template.php and then edit that and now you'll see there's loads of stuff in here we want to keep a lot of this the same but we'll just make a few changes so this at the top here I'm going to change this to say simple template and then I'm going to move all this down and then I'm just going to get the things I want so I like to do these articles and have it go h1 short intro h2 that's a slight variation of the keyword I'm targeting another short intro and then a H3 for all of the product titles so I want this to output as H3s and I want to get that product title so I'm going to have a look in this code here and try and find where the title is and it looks like we've got description here here we go title so I'm going to take that and put that in between there and then next up I want to get the image so I'm going to have a look through here find the image here we go copy that now I want to clean up this code a little bit, I don't want to have this class because I don't want to give away that this is an AAWP list, so we'll get rid of that, I'll keep the alt, I don't really need this title and I don't need this slash, so we'll take it like that. Now I want to wrap an anchor tag around that image that will take them through to the product, so we'll grab that link, put that at the opening of the image, again don't want that class with an AAWP reference, take that out. I uh, don't really want the title in there, don't really want any of these rail tags, I'll keep the target blank though, so we'll take that off of there, and close that, so now we've got our image wrapped in a link, and then next up we want to grab the description, so let's have a look, so descriptions right here, now by default this is going to output this description as a unordered list, so a UL, you know with the bullet points, and um, I didn't really like that, I wanted to make it more unique on my one, so I wrote a string replace to get rid of all of the UL and the closing UL, and then for each of the LI and closing LI, I turned those into paragraphs, so that's a way you can deal with that if you want to. It's a little bit tricky, because it's not really built to do it that way, but you can if you want to. Um, I'm going to leave it like that though, because to be honest, that's going to look more natural than most of these things would, so I'm happy with that. And then the only other thing that I might do is I'll put up here, we can actually get the number of reviews. So let's try to find where that is. So get product reviews. It looks like it's this bit. I know there's two here. I think so star rating, that's the one that's going to output the graphic. I think it's this one. I'm pretty sure it is. Let's try this out. I'll take that whole thing actually. And so I would put that before the description. And if we go, let's take off that div, take off that closing div and move that all on one line like that. So then it should go H3 with a title, image with the link wrapped around it, how many reviews there are, 
and then the bullet point uh, product description. So then the next thing we want to do is just get a link. So as you've probably heard me say in other videos, I prefer to say check price instead of actually giving them the price because I want them to wonder what the price is, click on my affiliate link so I get the cookie instead of them knowing what the price is straight away. So I'm not going to do it, but if you wanted to, you could get the price. It's in here somewhere. Uh, here we go, get product pricing. So you could get that and echo out the price there and it'll auto update. Um, but I'm not going to. So let's leave it as check price and then I'm going to get this link paste that in there and then you can turn this into a button if you want I did on the other one but this is a different website I'm building it on so I won't show that but you could just add a class there and make that a button if you want or not it's totally up to you so that's everything I want from there so now all I'm gonna do is just get rid of all the rest of this stuff because I don't want any of that there and then save that and upload that back to the server And now if we come back over to our website right here, I can come into our short code and then put space template equals and then whatever we called it here. So simple hyphen template and just don't put the PHP on there. Save that and then refresh this. And then we'll see here we've got our heading free tag, our image wrapped in the link this is our bullet point list. I have it styled to put these hashtags here instead of bullet points. That's why it looks like that. It's not that there's a class on there. I'll just show you that. There you go. And then we've got the check price. And if I was to click that, it would take you through to the product page. So that's how we've customized that. Now, another thing I want to show you as well that I actually done using ChatGPT is I figured out how to get back all of the different things that we have available to use on this. So let me just show you that code now. Right, so if we put this pre-tag in here and we say to basically output all of the different things that we can get, when we come back to here, it's now give us a massive list of all of the different things that it's got stored in here so we can get back any of these. And the best one is actually this right here. I was using this a lot. So you see it says get product numbering. What that will do is that will put a number one here, for example, if we want to, a number two here if we want to, and it will increment it on its own. So I'll show you how to do that. What you basically do, I'll just move this down quickly so I can show you. If I grab all this, paste that there, and then just get that bit and replace that with that, and then put a full stop after it, then that will be one dot space, and then we put that there. So now when I save that, and we come back to here, that now says one, that now says two, etc. and it will count it up. So I was trying to code something manually to do that, and um, it's not really a very good way to do it, but the data is already stored on each of these products already, so you don't have to. And there's a lot of different stuff in here. I didn't find much of it that useful, but um, some of it might be. So if you found this video helpful, let me know by leaving a like on this video right here, and I'll see you in the next one.